The contractions of all muscles are triggered by electrical impulses, whether transmitted by nerve cells created internally, as with a pacemaker, or applied externally, as with an electrical shock stimulus. The electrical signal sets off a series of events that lead to cross-bridge cycling between myosin and actin, which generates force. The series of events is a slightly different between skeletal, smooth, and cardiac muscle. In a skeletal muscle fiber, the functional unit of contraction is called the sarcomere. Thick filaments are made of a protein called myosin. At the molecular level, a thick filament is a shaft of myosin molecules arranged in a cylinder. Thin filaments are made of another protein called actin. The thin filaments look like two strands of pearls twisted around each other. During contraction, the myosin thick filaments grab onto the actin thin filaments by forming cross bridges. The thick filaments pull the thin filaments past them, making the sarcomere shorter. In a muscle fiber, the signal for contraction is synchronized over the entire fiber so that all of the myofibrils that make up the sarcomere shorten simultaneously. Muscles are energy in the form of ATP. The energy from ATP is used to reset the myosin cross bridge head and release the actin filament. To make ATP, the muscles do the following. First, the muscle breaks down creatine phosphate, adding the phosphate to ADP to create ATP. Then it carries out anaerobic respiration by which glucose is broken down to lactic acid and ATP is formed. Lastly, it carries out aerobic respiration by which glucose, glycogen, fats, and amino acids are broken down in the presence of oxygen to produce ATP. Muscles have a mixture of two basic types of fibers, fast twitch and slow twitch. Fast twitch fibers are capable of developing greater forces, contracting faster, and having greater anaerobic capacity. In contrast, slow twitch fibers develop force slowly, can maintain contractions longer, and have higher aerobic capacity. Training can increase muscle mass, probably by changing the size and number of muscle fibers rather than the types of fibers. We decided to see how training affects the strength and flexibility of muscles. We took two people of the same gender and generally the same age and height and tested them in certain activities that would test these skills. When you stretch a muscle, you lengthen the tendons or muscle fibers that attach it to the bone. The longer these fibers are, the more you can increase the muscle in size when you do your strength training. That means that a more flexible muscle has the potential to become a stronger muscle as well. In turn, building strong muscle fibers may boost your metabolism and your fitness level. Flexible muscles also make everyday activities easier on your body and may decrease your risk of certain injuries. What's more, stretching may improve your circulation, increasing blood flow to your muscles.
try it. Just what are you doing? <laughs> Ow, something just popped. <laughs> You're not recording this. <laughs> Keep going. Come on. <laughs> Aren't we? Oh yeah. Ready? Yep. Can you just try this first? Like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make another weird noise. It's okay. I do. Leave the bug alone. <laughs> what is wrong with you? It's running. <laughs> what? what? Are you doing video? I can't get my feet off the ground. This is a song. This is a Madame song.